What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is Predestination. Predestination is a 2014 Australian sci-fi thriller film that was written and directed by the Spearig brothers and is based on the 1959 short story entitled All You Zombies written by Robert A. Heinlein. Okay, so Predestination takes place in the 1970s and accounts a conversation between a bartender played by Ethan Hawke and a young writer named John played by Sarah Snook. The writer John tells the bartender that he has the greatest story he's ever heard and bets him a bottle of alcohol that his claims about the story's exceptionalism are true. As the story progresses, you learn that this conversation is more than just a random occurrence, and the rest of the film is spent diving deep into John's story and how his unique set of circumstances came to be, but we also watch the bartender try to make sense of it all. That might be the vaguest plot description I've ever given, but I promise it's for a good reason, and that reason is that predestination is a much better experience when you go in knowing as little about the plot as possible, because there's so many twists and turns that happen over over the course of the film that I could easily spoil for you in this video by explaining too much of the plot. And you might be thinking, that doesn't sound that interesting, it's just a guy sitting at a bar telling his life story to another guy. How exciting could that be? But there's a lot about the story that John recaps that's far from usual and more importantly far from expected. As he gets deeper and deeper into the story, things start to become more mysterious and more intriguing. The Spirit Brothers do a really fantastic job at giving you glimpses into the bigger picture without just showing you everything you want to see that instant. They take their time and have you think for yourself. This movie really is a mind bender. By the time the credits roll, your head is probably going to hurt from how much of a mind fuck roller coaster you just went on. As you get deeper and deeper into the story, things start to become clear, but even when you reach the end and the credits roll, you're not necessarily going to get clear cut, definitive answers to your questions. I really enjoyed that because this isn't a formulaic film in any respect, and it would feel out of character to just wrap things up neatly with a nice bow at the end. So pretty much what I always say about these unconventional films like these applies here as well. Predestination is not going to be a film for everyone because the story is so out there and so different than your standard film in 2014 and even today in 2017. There's a reason that films like these tend to fly under most people's radar and that's because they're not really designed for most people. It doesn't exist as a film that's just going to fit snugly between all the others that have come out in the last 10 or so years. To me, Predestination comes across as an attempt to be something different and to provide a fresh take on the sci-fi genre that can at times be fairly predictable. I think that what Predestination offers as a film is the same thing that some of the other previous requests I reviewed offer as well, something unique. But no matter how unique your script is, a film cannot succeed without the surrounding pieces mostly operating at a high level. I think that the two leading actors in this film were both performing at such a high level that the acting performances were easily one of the most impressive things about the movie for me. I don't think I've ever seen Sarah Snook in anything else before, but I definitely hope I do because her work in Predestination is pretty incredible. She displays range as an actress that is very, very rare to see. I think that the way her character is written and developed over the course of almost 100 minutes is fantastic, but there's a lot to be said about the way that Sarah Snook portrays her character. There's confidence, there's compassion, but there's also despair. Ethan Hawke is really good too. The bartender he plays is sort of a wisecracking, easygoing tough guy, at least on the exterior, but over the course of the film, he develops too quite a bit. I think what's interesting about these two characters is that they're written so distinctly distinctively, yet similarly at the same time. They hit it off and get along better than you might think based on their personality differences. John's story is one that the bartender gets really invested in because like John claimed, the story is very unique and very personal. And as the viewer, you watch a lot of events unfold via flashbacks. So while the bartender is visualizing these events, you're actually seeing them unfold in the past. So I think Ethan Hawke does an especially good job grasping how the bartender is understanding and picturing John's story. The conversations between the two are also very well written, as is the whole movie really. The characters establish their identities quickly, and their lines are written in a way that gels with those identities very smoothly. Not everything about this film is smooth though. There's one area that I think Predestination struggles, and that's the action. To me, this is almost more of a sci-fi drama film than anything else, but nonetheless, it's listed as a sci-fi thriller. The first half is definitely more drama, the second half is definitely more sci-fi thriller, but no matter which half you're watching, I think the action scenes tend to feel fairly underwhelming. I totally understand that this isn't an action film, but it's definitely part of the recipe. And I think that whenever this film does action, it struggles. It succeeds everywhere else, but the action itself isn't the best. It feels and looks more like 2004 than 2014 in looks, style, and execution. But this doesn't by any means overshadow the great things Predestination has to offer. I think that this is a film that most people who enjoy non-conventional, mind-bending cinema will find value in. And because of this, I'm going to recommend that you watch it if you're into that unique, out there kind of movie experience. 
points. But let's recap. So as for the pros, I think Predestination offers a unique, creative, mind-bending story, some exceptional acting from its two co-leads, very well-written dialogue, and a smart and ambiguous ending. The only con is that I think the film struggles with action, but it succeeds everywhere else, so I'm going to give Predestination a 9 out of 10 and recommend you give it a watch if you're into unique and mind-bending films. If so, this is one you'll enjoy. So have you guys seen Predestination yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite Ethan Hawke movie. That's all for now, though. This is Will Fox of Vacation signing off. See you in the next review.